another YouTube video, our second of the week. Um, we tried to do it last year, didn't we? But like life caught up, didn't it? In a way. But anyways, welcome to uh, Liverpool versus Chelsea preview. The first, I suppose, Super Sunday of the season, Kieran, takes place at Stamford Bridge. Mauricio Pochettino's Chelsea side take on Jurgen Klopp's Liverpool side. I am looking forward to this, Kieran, because I'm going to be there. Well, the, to be confirmed, Adam. To be confirmed, need to I, I will be there, I will be there, yeah. I will be there. Well, I will be there. To, to be honest with you, I have no fucking idea what to expect, and that worries me. Mm. I, man, What's going to happen? I think that's your problem. They're too <laughs> pessimistic. I would be looking forward to it in, in your way if I was you. You have a lot of unknowns like Chelsea. I thought you were talking about my life for a second. <laughs> <laughs> well, existential crisis like. I don't know, do you? <laughs> don't know, man. That's the problem. Uh, where is my mind? Just Photoshop the pixies in here. <laughs> Kira, Liverpool, Chelsea, Super Sunday. Are you buzzing or are you buzzing? I think it's a fucking super Sunday. It's going to be a super Sunday. Yeah, I agree. I it's a great game to start the year off. Yeah, it is. You think, I, think, I think we had something like this last year. I think it was the Spurs, uh, Chelsea. Yeah, game. Conte versus... And it just got the season kicked Tugel. off. Yeah, Jesus, R.I.P. Yeah. Thomas Tuchel. Because remember, he was that a team. Was one of the best moments of the season. Yeah, man. it was a great moment. It's going to be... There's going to be no shape to it whatsoever. It's going to be like a pre-season sort of set up, I mm. think. Because both teams will be sort of raw. Mm. But I think it's going to be an attacking affair. But yeah, what do you expect from the game? Oh, I expect, like, like yourself, I think it's going to be a high-scoring affair. Mm. Um, like you look at last season's games, two teams kind of in tour miles to an extent, two nil alls. And I suppose you look back to the season before that where there was two nil alls in cup finals, which prevailed with Liverpool winning in the end on penalties. And then the games in the league, I think, were really good games, like top prime Barclays. Two all on Stamford Bridge, one all on Anfield. And I, I think this, this game on Sunday will be more like the games not last season. This season that I just spoke about. I think they're going to be high scoring affairs. I think it's a big task for Klopp this season. I really do. It's going to be very interesting to see these next few months, next few weeks, excuse me, with the transfer window if they're to bring people in. How he uses his squad throughout the Europa League. But I suppose, Karen, do you know what? We'll rattle off, I suppose, potential 11th for either side. Um, do you want to start, will I? I, ju I just see your, your interesting names here. I want you to start because I want you to pronounce some of these names. Adam. Right, lovely. Um, in goal for Liverpool, obviously, with Yeltsin. I think Liverpool are going to play this weird kind of 4 3 3 where Trent never then becomes. Huh? You said Alisson. <laughs> never heard of her. Um, <laughs> I think Liverpool, I probably did. I think Liverpool are playing this weird 4 3 3 where Trent will then oh, in possession back. We're back. oh god we are we'll move into midfield and then you have a really high attacking lineup. as I said in goal Alisson never heard of it in defence will be Trent <laughs> Virgil Canate Robertson that'll be the fourth back three midfield and it's this is this is going to be interesting Chris Jones in the six. I don't know how that's going to go <laughs> um, I do rate Chris Jones I just don't know in that position how good he can be um, Dominic Sabozaloy, the the Hungarian. He actually did a good job. I did, yeah, <laughs> thank you. Um, Alexis, the Rizzler McAllister Rizzler. in midfield. And then Mohamed Salah, Darwin Nunes and Luis Diaz. As a front three for Liverpool, away at Stamford Bridge, I think, has enough to definitely score goals. Whether keep them out the other end, they can do that. It's going to be another thing. But I think definitely, um, going forward, Liverpool will have a lot of firepower. Girl, on your yeah. side. Um, I worry Kepa I worry in goal I worry what about Sanchez Sanchez I don't think will we'll start this game okay. uh, I don't think it's too early for him mm. um, Reese James I've gone with right back I think he just does enough to get mm. ahead of Gusto Gusto's had a great season though. great pre-season mm. uh, season um, Thiago Silva and Colwell in centre backs I <clears> expect <throat> those two to start mm. Colwell is the new great hope that yeah. we're all expecting mm. Am I cynical? Absolutely. I don't really trust this. Oh, he's a good player. He's a, good he's player. a great player, supposedly, mm. but I have not seen enough of him to think anything. Mm. Um, Chilwell left back, and I've gone for a midfield three. I think that will start to match up to Liverpool's 4 3 3. I think Enzo Fernandez, Conor Gallagher, and Andre Santos will start this game. Well, wow. um, I think you, you could expect to see Santos definitely, mm. um, and then Gallagher will probably start to match the numbers. Then I've gone for Sterling, Mudrick and... Nick Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Nick Jackson. Um, Outcast just starts playing. <laughs> Outcast intensifies. Um, but yeah, I, I expect uh, 
I expect Thiago Silva to keep out Nunes in this game. Mm. And no, I don't really, to be honest. It's going to be a very high score. Yeah, game. I think it'll be a few goals. Um, and I don't know what to expect, to be honest. Um, I, I'm as new to this as you are. Rhys James and Ben Chilwell as the fullbacks in a four-back. What are your thoughts on that? I think I think they're both defensively solid. I think they'll yeah, be okay. okay. They'll be okay. Mm. I know you don't think they're defensively solid. I I definitely don't think they're as defensively solid as you probably think. I think I think they're two fabulous players. Don't get me wrong, but I think there's a reason they've played the treat back with the two lads as wing back for as long as they have. And I don't think that was down to two go wanting to play that system. I think it was down to kind of supplement them and get them forward because I think Rhys James in particular. Going forward is very good. I think Rhys is probably, like you were talking about, pound for pound there. It's probably pound for pound Chelsea's best player um, when he's fully fit. So, uh, What are you expecting from this uh, midfield for Liverpool? It's sort of interesting. I know <sighs> that the Chelsea one's also very vibrant. Mm. I think this is going to be a very interesting midfield battle. I think it could be a big game for Enzo Fernandez, Kieran. I think he's a player of real quality. Um, I think he is world class. Um, oh, thanks, Adam. I think... Uh, McAllister uh, against Fernandez. I think Enzo's probably going to be following McAllister on the pitch. I don't think that's a bad game plan either. I don't I think, think they'll be marking each other. I, I, think, I think they will. I, I think, think Gallagher's going to run around after... Potentially, after, potentially. Um, but I think it's going to be interesting to see how McAllister and Sabozloy get on for Liverpool. I think Jones in the six is very interesting. Of course, Jones had a very good finish last season. Don't get me wrong. That was kind of further up the pitch. He found himself playing in a further position. So it's going to be interesting to see... How he gets on, I think you get what you get with the front three now, his quality. Um, and at the back again, Liverpool's back line is... I, I, look, it's still a very good back line, don't get me wrong, but you were talking about pre-season earlier and conceding goals, shipping goals. I think the season Liverpool won the league in nineteen twenty. I think they had a, a terrible pre-season. So you can't really read a whole lot into it. That's, right. that's the way I go, yeah. mostly. So... Um, I wouldn't read a whole lot into how they've played in pre-season although it is an outlier of sorts um, I think it's going to be a tight game but I think it's going to be I think it's going to be a good few goals now I'm hoping because I'm going to be in the stadium So predictions very quickly predictions my prediction for Liverpool Chelsea at Stamford Bridge on Sunday is going to be Liverpool 5 Chelsea 3 <laughs> fucking hell well it's definitely not going to happen man but like you might as well predict it Um. I'm I'm gonna go for something a little bit more uh, tame. I think I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go like one all. I mm. think would be the score. I'm gonna go Nick Jackson's first goal. Yeah. And I'm gonna say I'm gonna say McAllister's first goal as well. So we're gonna go one, a cheeky one all draw mm. start the season off. I think that'd be nice. And yeah. um, I hope there's a few hot challenges going in there as well. Mm. A few uh, a few two footers mm. and uh, a physical game as well. Mm. One to enjoy yeah. for all. And we're going to pass back now, Kieran, back to the podcast. We hope you enjoyed this preview of Liverpool Chelsea this Sunday. Um, and yeah, thanks for tuning in to and YouTube. If it's your birthday, yeah, uh, birthday. Ah, stop it, stop it, stop Sorry. it, stop it. <laughs> birthday salutations to uh, whoever's birthday God. it is.